In a quaint village nestled between rolling hills and dense forests, lived a young girl named Elara. She had an uncanny ability, a gift some might call it, to communicate with nature. From the age she could first string words together, she would often be found sitting beneath the towering oak tree that stood at the edge of the village, conversing with the rustling leaves, the chittering squirrels, and the babbling brook nearby. Alara's parents, being traditionalists, considered her gift to be eccentric and somewhat unusual. But they couldn't deny that their daughter's intuition was often startlingly accurate. As Elara grew older, her gift grew stronger. The village began to recognize the accuracy of her insights. She would predict the changing weather patterns, locate lost animals, and even foresee minor incidents. Despite her accurate predictions, the villagers remained skeptical, attributing her accuracy to mere coincidence. One day, the village was struck by a severe drought that left crops withering and the once green fields. Turning to dust the villagers were desperate, and they called upon Elara, hoping that her connection to nature would guide them out of their predicament. Elara, sitting beneath the oak tree, closed her eyes and let the wind guide her thoughts. She felt a deep resonance within her, as if the oak tree itself was speaking to her. In a soft, steady voice, she announced that a hidden spring lay beneath the roots of the oak tree, a source of water that could save the village from the grip of the drought. The villagers were skeptical. The oak tree was ancient, and nobody had ever suspected a spring lay beneath it. However, their desperation led them to dig beneath the oak tree. And to their astonishment, they discovered a glistening spring. As clear as the sky on a summer day, the water flowed freely, bringing life back to the village. And the crops flourished once more. As news of Alara's extraordinary gift spread, the villagers began to seek her advice for various matters, from solving disputes to predicting. Outcomes of ventures. Yet, there were those who remained skeptical, convinced that her abilities were nothing more than coincidence or clever guesswork. Among the skeptics was a wealthy merchant named Lucius. He had heard of Alara's gift but dismissed it as foolishness. One day, he approached her with a wager. He had two identical golden pendants and challenged Alara to determine which pendant he had hidden. In his palm without seeing it, Elara smiled gently and closed her eyes, allowing her intuition to guide her. After a brief moment, she pointed confidently to one hand. Lucius smirked, revealing the empty palm, a trick he had played on many to humiliate them. The villagers sighed, their hopes dampened by the merchant's mocking laughter. But just as Lucius was about to leave, Elara calmly spoke, Open your other hand, dear Lucius. Lucius hesitated, intrigued by her words. Slowly, he opened his other hand. And to his astonishment, there lay the golden pendant. His face paled, and he stammered, unable to comprehend how she could have known. Elara simply smiled and said, Intuition sees beyond the surface, beyond the tricks we play. It listens to the whispers of truth that often go unnoticed. Lucius left humbled, his skepticism shattered. The village, on the other hand, gained newfound respect for Alara's gift. They began to trust her intuition, seeking her guidance not out of desperation, but out of genuine belief. And so, the village thrived. Guided not only by the wisdom of its elders but also by the whispers of nature that Elara was attuned to. Over time, the story of the hidden spring and the golden pendant spread far and wide. Becoming a symbol of the power of intuition, a reminder that sometimes the answers lie within us, waiting to be heard, seen, and felt. For in the rustling leaves and the gentlest whispers of the wind, truth often reveals itself to those who choose to trust their intuition.